their terror attack uh, last night. We're joined now uh, by Kevin Hurley, who is the uh, former head of Counterterrorism City Police. Um, thanks for being with us. Three terror attacks in as many months. Can we expect more? Yes, absolutely. What we're seeing now is a perfect storm of a number of factors. First, the, 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 the fact that no one is dealing with who is funding this radicalisation process, whether it's paying for extremist mosques and extremist imams to preach this doctrine. We're not getting ahead of the curve in terms of dealing with the internet. And finally, most crucially locally, the police have now been cut in significant numbers, so we're not getting the community intelligence with cuts to community policing. Uh, there are inadequate numbers of armed police. Uh, this just had, this was fortunate for central London. Imagine if this was Brighton. The first officer who turned up on scene, a single officer, still in his first couple of years in the police, took all three on his own, unarmed. If he'd have carried a sidearm, he'd have stopped them. We still do not get the nature and enormity of the problem we're facing in this country. And what do you make of the political reaction? We've heard Theresa May, of course, saying that there are safe spaces for extremists and there should be a review of counter-terrorism. Is that enough? Of course not. How often has this, this been going on? I've been in the business for ages and I've listened to Theresa uh, May speak a, a lot about this in the past. The fact of the matter is she reduced firearms capability by 2,000 officers. They're still fighting to try and bring that back but we actually need to bite the bullet and start to aim, aim arm first responders. They're doing nothing about finding out who's funding some of these extremist mosques that spread uh, the violent extremism that comes from Wahhabism, Salafism, uh, if you like. And until we cut, stop the funding streams, stop people getting planning permission for these mosques, stop them bringing in indoctrinated extreme imams from madrasas around Lahore, and madrasas in some of uh, the other places in Somalia and so on, this is going to get worse. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Well, worth pointing out, because we're still very early in the investigation, we don't know the connections of these, these three particular men, but what are you talking about when you're talking about the funding, very briefly? Well, what I'm, what I'm saying is for the last 35 years, extremist uh, Wahhabist violent views have been propagated throughout the world, starting, of course, in okay. Afghanistan and Bosnia okay. and onwards. We'll have to uh, leave it there. Uh, thank you uh, very much for being with us uh, today. Um, He's right. Well, Why are you cutting him off? We hear the scene uh, of a terror attack last night in uh, London Bridge. Uh,